Hi there, just want to show you how you can create hyperlinks in Affinity Publisher. So these are ideal if you're creating, uh, exporting PDFs uh, for digital delivery, as these will allow uh, viewers or readers of your uh, particular publication to click on those hyperlinks and jump either to a different location in the publication or to an external web address, say for an ad advertising reasons, etc. So let's just take a look at this example, this magazine. Now I've got uh, a whole list of article titles in the magazine on the cover. Um, and I can just select a particular uh, bit of text on there which allow a readership to click and then jump to the article. So from the view menu, I can choose studio, hyperlinks. And from here, I can uh, click add hyperlink and then choose the page number where the article resides. In this case, it would be this article here. Now I can choose a character style. Now this is just the local formatting of the hyperlink that shows on the page. So that could be kind of an underline or a, a, a different kind of a color to the body text. So I'll click OK and you'll see the entry appears in the hyperlinks panel. I can double click that any time just to check the values. If I want to come back and review this uh, hyperlink information for all hyperlinks, you can do that. Just a simple double click. Now let's add a, a, a different type of hyperlink, and that's a hyperlink to an anchor rather than the page. So if I scroll down to a particular story about a Milan Fashion Week, I'll just double click in here, um, this area here, um, the, the story actually continues on to the next spread. And I've got kind of a bit of text here, which is Fashion Week in detail, which uh, I want to add a hyperlink to, so I'm just uh, with an insertion point there with the text tool. I can choose text interactive insert anchor. I'll just prefix that so I can identify it as being part of a Milan story. And I'll click OK. Now if I just zoom in there, you can see that uh, anchor is showing just to indicate that the there is an anchor in place and I can control that by going to text interactive show anchors either checked or unchecked. I'll keep it checked for the moment. So now when I jump back to the um, original uh, of the start of the Milan story if I just select this text fashion week and then add hyperlink. I can target not the page, but instead the anchor. And that's the anchor we've just created. Now the reason we do this is because as the story develops, it might grow onto additional pages. And so that hyperlink will always work. So if it was targeting just a static page, um, the text and the reference to the right point in the text may have moved beyond that page. So it's a lot more powerful. Okay, let's look at uh, adding a third type of hyperlink. And we'll go up to the page two and three, and you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got some text there. If I select all of that, and then click add hyperlink again, I can add a URL. In this case, I've already got this set up, so I can choose I would have chosen hyperlink type URL and then entered the website in the address, but I can change that at any point in time. Okay, so I'll just click OK there. And then we'll just uh, just have a look uh, at some of the other uh, hyperlink options that are available. I'll just pick a different uh, uh, point in, in the document. We'll try in here. So say we had a, a particular download here of a particular file um, and we wanted to target it with this piece of text. If I added a, a hyperlink there, I can choose to include a file, uh, a reference to a file um, 
with this document. So it's, when you export the uh, document, a particular file of your choice will go with that, uh, this main publication. So it keeps, keeps it almost like a, a sidecar document. Um, some of the other options on there, we can target uh, email as an option. Um, if you want to send email uh, to a particular, um, or, or trigger an email window to pop up, you can choose that option. And you'll also on this uh, panel here be able to access, uh, for instance, go to target. Uh, you can target um, uh, internal links within the document. So we had a look at the anchor before and the hyperlink. So if I wanted to uh, just go to go to target, if I select Fashion Week, excuse me, if I select Fashion Week, I can just jump to target, and there it is referenced there. And you'll also be able to go to the source as well. And that goes to source.